Hello, preschool friends. Today we're going to do a math lesson. So our math lesson is going to be on comparing sets. And we're going to look at whether they have more or fewer in them. So by more, it means that you have a bigger amount or a greater amount of objects in it. So if we look at this gumball machine and this other gumball machine, you can see the one right here has lots of gumballs in it. And the one over here has only five gumballs. So the one on this side, you could say has more gumballs because it has a greater number. It almost fills up the inside of the gumball machine. And the one over here has fewer because there's only a little amount or a small amount in the bottom with five gumballs in the machine. So this one has more and this one has fewer. And so I've gathered up some apples and oranges and I'm going to line them up in a row or a column because they are easier to compare when you have them in a line. You can see which line is shorter. You can see which line is longer. And it helps you to compare these sets and figure out which one has more and which one has fewer in them. Now you can also draw like a line in between the two sets. So I got some straws so that I could put a line in between each set to see which ones have partners and which ones do not. So this first apple here, I'm gonna put my straw because I have a partner over here in my oranges. Then if you look at this next apple, do I have a partner over here in the oranges? I do. And my next apple, do I have a partner over here in the oranges? I do, good job. Now this apple right here, is there a partner over here in the oranges? That's right, there is not. So if we have extra pieces that do not have a partner, it means that this group has more. And when we don't have any extra pieces, that group has fewer. So in my objects right now with my sets, my apples have more and my oranges have fewer. So this one's more and this one's fewer. Okay, you can also count the objects in your set to see which have more in it and which have fewer. So help me count the oranges. One, two, three. Okay, so the oranges, we have three. And let's count the apples. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we have four apples. So when we look at our two numbers, three is smaller than four, so we were right. Our oranges have fewer than the apple set. And the apple set has four in it, so it has more than the three oranges. Good job. Now I've got some bean bags that we're gonna compare. And we're gonna see which group has more or which group has fewer. So I have some blue bean bags. I'm gonna line up in a line so we can see which is longer, which is shorter, which will help us compare them. Okay, so now, first, I'm gonna try comparing them with my straws. Okay, so does the first blue one have a partner? That's right, it does. Okay, now does the next blue one have a partner over here in the red? It does. Okay, does this blue one have a partner over here? That's right, it does. Okay, and does this last blue one have a partner? That's right, it does not. So when we have extra pieces that do not have a partner, we know that this line has more. And then over here, we do not have any extra pieces, so that means that our red one has fewer. Good job. Okay, now, we're gonna try counting them to see which has more. Okay, so I'm gonna put my blue bags over here. And I'm gonna line up my red bags on the other side. Okay, so now let's count them. Okay, we will count the red ones first. One, two, three and four. 
So our red ones have four. And let's count the blue bags. One, two, three, four, five. And our blue ones have five. Okay, so now if we think about our numbers, is four smaller than five? It is, so which one has fewer? We had four red and five blue. That's right, our red bags were fewer. And then that means we had more blue bags. Okay, you guys have done a good job today. Remember, gather up some objects and you guys can compare your sets. So line them up like I have here to see which is shorter and which has more or which has fewer in it. And then take some pictures and either post them to Facebook or send them to your teacher. They would love to see the awesome work you guys are doing. Have a great Thursday.